Team 3 Weather with Tom Kiffin. We do have a good deal of cloud cover across the UP, including here in the Marquette area. This is the NMU webcam looking towards the northern center. Areas that are exposed to sun, you can see most of the snow is gone. We do have some heavier rain showers off to the west of Marquette. Let's get you to our local three radar network. Slow moving area of low pressure just to the west of Rhinelander. It's going to take its time to move on out of here. And while it's doing that, it is going to continue to bring us precipitation chances. But right now, what we have is a pretty good line of rain showers that are extending from Ralph back towards Lake Michigan. And as we close on in here, you can see from just north of Ralph over towards Greenwood Reservoir, even towards Clarksburg, Humboldt, and then over towards Lake Michigan. Within this line of thunderstorm, or I wouldn't even say thunderstorms, we're not seeing much in the way of lightning, but it's going to be some heavier rain showers that's going to bring us some potential gusty winds at or over 40 miles per hour and also some brief heavy rain. In this is lifting to the north, so locations such as just west of Nagani, Ishpeming, and then over towards Koski Corners and Lake Michigan. You could see some brief heavy rain and also some stronger gusty winds, and you can see this is lifting up to the north, and eventually it's going to lift towards the Huron Mountains and the Dead River Basin. All right, as we look at weather in motion here, you can see this area of low pressure slowly moving through the Great Lakes region here. Going to keep rain showers, perhaps some wintry precipitation tonight, and then and as we head into tomorrow and on into Friday, this area of low pressure is going to creep on into lower Michigan and behind it, we're going to start to get more chillier air tomorrow, tomorrow night and on into Friday. And that means we're going to see more in the way of wintry precipitation. And in fact, by Friday, anything that does fall will be in the form of wintry precipitation and that includes wet snow. As we do get to Saturday, that's when we start to see very slow improvement in our weather. Snowfall forecast, not much to talk about in the eastern UP and even towards the south central UP, but Marquette down 553, Gwynn westward. That's when we're going to start to see the snow pick up. And you can see as you head west to Marquette towards Nagani and Ishbeming, three to six inches of snow Thursday and Friday. Same for Houghton, Berga, and Ontonagon over towards Watermead. But in the Michigami Highlands and in the higher terrain of the Keweenaw Peninsula towards Mount Bohemia, and then the higher terrain around Ironwood towards Lake of the Clouds and the Porcupine Mountains, we could see six to nine inches of snow, maybe some spots going into double digit totals. And a lot of this snow will come late in the day Thursday on into the daytime on Friday. We're also going to see the winds pick up the pace late in the day Thursday on into Friday. Not too much in the way of gusty winds to talk about tonight. We could though see some wind gusts, but as we head into Thursday night, look for the winds to pick up out of the pace, pick up the pace out of the north to northwest. And then as we head into Friday, you can see a northerly to northwesterly wind at times, perhaps gusting over 30, maybe approaching 40 or a little bit stronger. And then the gustier winds continue Friday night and into the first part of Saturday. Temperatures right now still above freezing. We've seen it turn a little bit chillier though for Ironwood, 36 degrees there. Got 37 for Newberry officially at the Weather Service today. We had a high of 44. 35 was today's low. We almost picked up a half inch of rain at the Weather Service in Nagani Township. High temperatures across the rest of the UP today, right around 40 or the 40s, but check out Iron Mountain. We had a high today of 50, 52 degrees for Menominee. Here's our community forecast here. We are looking at temperatures tonight falling to around the 33 degree mark for the Keweenaw Peninsula and also Barragallans and Ontonagon as we get you into the interior west. 32 for Ironwood, 32 also for Iron River, 33 for Crystal Falls, and 34 for our nighttime low tonight for Iron Mountain. For the western UP and Keweenaw Peninsula, this is a spot where we may start to see more in the way of wintry precipitation tonight. For the south central UP, we are looking at low temperatures tonight around 34 for Powers, Rock, Manistique, Curtis, Sini, and Germfast. For the eastern UP tonight, we're looking at low temperatures right around 34 as well for Newberry, Grand Marais, Munising, and Trenary. And then into Marquette County, we're looking at low temperatures tonight around 34 along the Marquette Lakeshore. Also for Gwynn, 33 tonight for Ishpeming and Nagani. For Marquette itself tonight, 34 with rain showers, perhaps some wintry precipitation later. And then temperatures stuck in the 30s for Thursday with rain showers or wintry precipitation. And then it's more in the way of wintry 
precipitation late in the day Thursday on into Thursday night and also Friday. And we could see some slushy snowfall accumulation Thursday night on into Friday along with wind and then slow improvement in the weather for the weekend, perhaps a little bit milder for Sunday. For Escanaba and Gladstone tonight, 34 degrees with some rain showers, rain showers, perhaps some wintry precipitation late in the day on Thursday around 40, 38 on Friday, rain showers or wintry precipitation and then slow improvement in the weather, perhaps milder by the time we get to Sunday.